Hello and welcome to the world of Matthias. Today is the day when we are going to put together my Altocaster guitar. I got this body used from eBay. It has a nice uh, vintage look to it. It's very light so I think that this is an older body. I got this uh, roasted maple neck from uh, AliExpress. I got a scratch plate from Amazon which was uh, pre-wired with Alnico 5 uh, pickups in them. I got some uh, Kaish vintage uh, tuners. I have a bridge from Music Lily and I have a water slide sticker here which I have uh, designed myself. So today is going to be uh, great fun. We are going to put this uh, together and we're going to tune it in so it plays lovely. So yeah we, we got parts from all over the world here. Uh, let's uh, fit them together see how they fit and let's tune this guitar in so it will be a real player. Also I got this little switch here and I thought I'm going to do the David Gilmore mode and that is basically instead of five settings here you get the seven settings basically you turn the neck pickup on and off with it so you can have a normal setup that you do uh, on the Stratocaster but also you can turn on the neck uh, pickup and that means that you can have the bridge and the neck uh, for themselves and you can also have all three uh, pickups uh, on together I thought that the that would be a nice little trick. It's very simple, I will show you. And in the end, I think I'm going to give you some sound examples of how it uh, sounds. So yeah, let's get cracking. So just a quick reminder, if you like my video, uh, I still have a goal of a thousand subscribers to reach. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. And now on with the video. The first thing that you usually do when you are assembling a podcaster, you usually put on the neck on the body but since I don't know how this is going to fit uh, on the body in relation to the bridge I think I'm going to put on the bridge first and after that I can fit the neck and then I can um, tune it in so I get it as I want to so okay so you can see here this is uh, the bridge and I have done a light relicking on this not much just a little bit uh, to match to the the guitar and uh, when I did that, I took it all apart. So now we're going to assemble it again. Now, these are all the parts that you need to assemble your bridge. But I'm not going to tune it in now, obviously. I will do that when I had the neck on the guitar and all of that. So you start by putting on this. And then you can put on the saddles. Maybe I'll, I'll just do this in the future. Maybe I'll just uh, do different types of podcasters. Do the work and sell it on. Maybe that's a career. It would be a fun career. So how many of you have actually uh, put together a guitar before? Please leave it in the comments. All your experience and all the things that you came across when you did it. I have actually worked on the guitars quite a lot. I have never done a podcaster project before. Uh, I've taken apart guitars and I have put them together again but I have, but I have never bought all the parts and then uh, put them together as one. I've never done that so that that's a new experience for me. As I said before all these parts are coming from different uh, brands and different uh, manufacturers and a guitar is about precision. So I hope I can get it with all these parts. And now I've come this far, so now we can put in the, the bridge. And uh, you just put the screws in here. And you can choose here if you want a floating bridge or if you want a flush bridge. I want my flush to the surface, all the way down. That's how I like it. And that's the bridge. So now let's turn it over and put on these uh, spring coils in the back. So what you do here, just put in the screws a bit and then you put in the spring coils. And then you can tighten it down. All right. 
now let's do some work on this scratch plate. This is always so damn fiddly. But we will make it work. Like so, you need one of one of these springs and you want, want one of these screws. I'm just taking them over the surface of the scratch plates here so I know that they are in place. So in these uh, pre-wired kits you get uh, three loose cables. Two of them are ground and uh, one of them is uh, hot. One ground and one hot is going to the output jack here. And uh, the other ground is going uh, in here in the guitar to the back side and then we uh, will solder it here. I take one of these, it doesn't matter one, which one, and I put it through. Like that. And now we can solder it in place. And there it is. And now we can turn it over. And now we can put these uh, wires through this hole here into the output jack cavity. Like that. Now on this uh, output jack, this is where you put the ground and this is the hot part. So let's solder it in. Yeah, and that's that done. So let's put it in this. All right, so that's all done and the holes actually line up pretty good. So let's just put one here and then let's secure one out here. And there were existing holes in this uh, guitar body when I got it and uh, they line up perfectly with this new scratch plate. So no issues there. Otherwise I had to... No, no, no. It doesn't line up here. I have to loosen this thing, I think. You see here? It's just a millimeter or so. But, and that's enough to make the scratch plate not uh, lay flush on the guitar body. Now we can't have that. Maybe I can adjust it by loosening the bridge. Maybe. We'll see. Now let's see. Can I do this? And yeah, maybe. All right, now there is a protective film over this scratch plate, but I won't remove that until all of the guitar is assembled. Now that's all of them, so this guitar is coming together. Maybe I'll just put in these uh, strap holders. Like so. Very nice. And like so. Now it's time to put on the neck no now I will uh, put on the tuners on the neck I think it will be easier to do that when it's not attached to the body all right so uh, let's turn this over <coughs> put it like this four of them look like th looks like this and one of them looks like this and one of them looks like this and this one goes on the far this side and this one goes on this side Make some holes. <clears throat> and now we can remove these again and make these holes a little bigger. They don't have to be huge. The, the screws are quite tiny. Like that. <clears throat> and now we can put in the first screw. And don't tighten them. Just uh, put them in <clears throat> and we will tighten them once every tuner is in place and that way it will be easier if one of the holes isn't perfectly lined up and now we can tighten them all the way down now i was going to put on some locking tuners on this guitar but i found these tuners in uh, one of my drawers and i thought they would look very nice on this on this neck so uh, i decided to go with these instead now look at that that's nice. So now I think it's time to put the neck 
because I'm going to do this this string tree as well but I think uh, to get the position right I think I'm going to uh, put on the neck first and then uh, uh, put on the strings and then I will see where to put the string tree there was one thing that I forgot to do and it was the David Gilmore mod I promised you so I will take this off and I will uh, solder this in now where do I want to put it I think I want to put it here right between the, these two and uh, over this one so I think I will put it here I'm just going to make a mark and then I will drill it six millimeters so start with a small one and six millimeters it's uh, this little switch and what you need when you do this is uh, you need to have a switch that is an on off switch and uh, you have to have at least two of these down here two connectors uh, this one has three and that's totally fine you can have four or five you can have 12 connectors connectors down here but uh, what you minimum need is two so from two and up that's okay and I know that the original David Gilmore guitar he doesn't have a nut up here on the scratch plate. I won't be doing that. This is fine for me. And now we will solder it. All right, so when you're soldering a David Gilmore mod, what you need to do is you want to take one of these leads here. You need to put one here on uh, the volume port, which goes up to the selector here. And then you need to take a uh, the lead that comes from the neck because you're going to put uh, because you're going to activate the the neck position with this switch and you can follow it up all the way here up to this one you have to solder one into into this and the other one into this one on the volume port so let's do that Right, so that's it. So as you can see, I've put one of these leads down to this one and one of these leads up to this one. And now we can put this bad boy back together. And now we can put on the neck. And this ha doesn't have to be fancy. You just need a string to see that the neck is uh, straight with the body. So what you do is you, you simply line up the string from the bridge back here and put it where the string should be on the nut and then you want to have it in a straight line across the, the neck and then you do the exact same thing on the lowest part of the string and you want to have it just as straight there so as you can see here the neck is a little bit to you have a little shelf here when I measured with the uh, with the strings uh, I want it to go flush here and that means that it's going to be a little bit of a gap here so I'm going to put it like this so it's straight and then I will try it with the strings again and I think that looks good that also is good Right, that might work. Okay, so uh, let's put on this uh, water slide. I'm a little worried that the water slide won't stick on this surface because this neck is oiled in with some kind of oil, so I'm not really sure if it will stick. We will just have to see. I 
put on this little sticker. I thought I'd call it bluey since I like the green so much. I think that turned out quite nice and when it dries you won't see the sticker as much as you do now when it's a little bit uh, wet. Now it's time to test the mod. So now uh, if you have it in this position only this pickup should work and that's true and if we put it in the next position as you know these two should work and this one not and now it's only this. And now it's these two, and not that one. And now it's only that one, and not these two. So this switch works as it should do. But when you turn on this switch, put it down. So this neck pickup is always on. So now it's these two, and not that one. And then you, if you put that on, then it's all three of them. And so on, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the mod works. Very good. And with that, I think it's time to put on some strings. Now I've been trying to set this guitar up, but it looks like I'm going to have to shim it down here because uh, in order to get the string action uh, correct without lowering the bridge too much, I need to level the neck of the guitar and I have to take it off again and uh, put in some shims. And uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm not going to remove the strings for this. I don't think it's necessary. Now I just did some wooden shims here in my workshop. I think they are about two millimeters each. So uh, I'm just going to put in one first and see how that goes. So uh, let's see how this guitar sounds.